Hey guys, welcome to Sony's How To's. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload digital products on Etsy. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now in the previous video, we showed you how to create digital planners to sell on Etsy. Now if you missed it, please check the upper right corner. Now how do we actually start selling on Etsy? So first thing that we need to do here is we need to create our store. So at the top right of your screen, you should see a store icon there. So that's your shop manager. So go ahead and click on it. And if it this is the first time that you're accessing this, it's going to ask you a few questions about yourself. So in, th in that case, it's going to ask you what's the na name of your store and a lot of other information about yourself. So go ahead and answer or do the guide. And from there, you'll be able to create your store. Now, once your store is created, we need to go to our listing because listings is going to be where our products are going to be. Now, in this case, let's go to the listing section here. Click on listing at the left panel here. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to add a new listing. Now, to do that, at the top right of your screen, you should see a add a listing button. So, go ahead and click on it. And from here, it's going to ask you what type of product you are going to sell. Now, in this case, we have two options here, one for physical item or digital items. So in this case, since we'll be selling a previous product that we previously made, we want to choose digital files here because this is a digital planner. Now, from here, it's also going to ask you who made it. So choose I did. So if someone else made it, so make sure that the, uh, the option here you select is correct. So a member of your shop or another company or person. Now, what is it? So in this case, uh, we want to answer a finished product here. But if it, this is a supply tool or to make things, make sure that you uh, make that or choose that. In this case, I'm going to choose a finished product. Now, when was it made? So go ahead and click on this section here and you'll be able to choose what type or when it's actually made. So in this case, I want to say made to order. And from here, what we need to do is click on continue at the bottom right of your screen. Now from here, we need to fill additional details about our product. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to the about section first. Now in this case, in the about section, we need to describe our product and basically sh properly showcase it into potential customers or buyers. So in this case, this title is going to, I'm going to say it is going to be a digital planner. And uh, from here, we want to add photos and videos. So it's going to also suggest you to upload a video if you have one of those. Because actually in here, according to Etsy, it's a lot more probable that someone actually would buy the product if you have a video for it because they would have a better view on it. But in this case, uh, we want to upload a sample file. Now, in this case, since this is a digital file, there's more, a big chance that our products would actually get stolen. So to avoid that, I would suggest you to upload at least one or two images only and don't upload the file itself. In this case, I, am, I have this digital planner here. So I would suggest you to go to text here and from here, I want to add a text. So in this case, add a text box here. And from here, I want to say this is a sample only. Now from here, we want to highlight a uh, all of it and we want to make this a lot bigger so let's say you're going to make this 90 and from here we want to go ahead and change a few things like for example we want to change this to Arial if it's available here choose this one and change it into bold change the color into something like around gray and here we want to also change or rotate this one for example, make to make sure it's just to make sure that someone or w someone will not be able to steal this one. For example, let's move this one in the center, make it a lot bigger. And once it's actually done or positioned, you could go ahead and adjust the uh, transparency here, make it a lot less or make it prominent if you want to, depending on how you want it. And from here, once you're done, you can go ahead and click on share at the top right of your screen. And from here, click on the download option. Now, instead of choosing the uh, PDF, the PDF standard here, choose a PNG. From here, you could go ahead and just download specific pages here. So untick all of the other pages. So if you're selling a digital planner here, make sure that you include the title, 
uh, section of it and the uh, one of the pages there. So in this case, I'm going to only show this page here. Click on done, click on download. And when it actually fin finishing that finishes download, we could go ahead and upload this into our listing. Now in this case, it's already done, I believe. Here, click on add up to 10 photo or video. Let's go to download here. Here's the photo, click on open. And as you can see, it's going to be uploaded. Now, whilst it's still uploading, we could go ahead and fill out other details. So scroll down a bit until you see the thumbnail. So thumbnail is the crop version of your primary photo. So we could go ahead and just uh, retain this. But if you want to adjust it, click on adjust thumbnail. As you can see, we could go ahead and just zoom in. Now, from here, we could also add a description. So in this case, make sure that you describe this uh, product or your product uh, the best way that you can and showcase it why they should actually buy your product. Now in this case, I'm going to say this is a banner. And from here, you can also add personalizations or collect personalized information for this listing. If you want to do that, you could go ahead, just click on add personalization. From here, instruction for buyers, character limit or for buyers funds. From here, click on remove personalization if you don't want to add personalization. For your, pro your cost from your customers and here we also have to add the price for it the example i want to sell this for around 500 philippine peso so the peso here or the price itself or the currency that we'll be using here depends on where you are currently located so if you're in the philippines it's going to say 500 pesos here the quantity itself you will also be able to choose this one now since we this is a digital product we could say around 999 since so since this is the max quantity that we could enter here but once done we can go ahead and just scroll down uh, here the vari variations is currently unavailable for digital products so we have the details here. Currently, the core details here is going to be digital files. So we could also add our category. So by the way, if you want to change the uh, core uh, category, or sorry, the core details here, you could go ahead and click on change and change this to physical. But once you retain this, click on cancel, add category. I want to say this is a planner. And from here, we want to go ahead and click on office to uh, office and school supplies and click on done. And from here, we have our attributes. So in this case, primary color is going to be blue, depending on your design here. As you can see, this is our design here. It's going to be blue. Secondary color is going to be white. And from here, we have the sustainability. So let buyers know if your item is made using eco-conscious materials. So in this case, we want to go ahead and skip this section since this is not required. So occasion, you could go ahead and skip this as well if you want to. And in here, we also have tags. Like for example, we want to say blue on this one. So make sure that you add appropriate tags here that actually describes your product. And as much as you can, make sure that you add as much tags as you can describing your product. In this case, let's go ahead and add planner here. And here we want to say sky as well. And from here, uh, we want to say weeks, week and other uh, words that would actually describe our product. Now, once you've added that, you could go ahead and add your materials here. So buyer, uh, buyers of value transparency tell them what to choose to make your item. So in this case, since it is a digital item, it's not created by any materials, so let's go ahead and skip this one. Now shipping, since we they are they're going to be downloading this one, shipping is disabled, and we also have these settings here. Returns and exchange, no returns or exchange, since this is a digital product, and shop, sec shop check is you shop sections to organize your products into groups shoppers can explore now in this case you could go ahead and choose whatever like a uh, section here but for now we don't want to choose anything and from here we want to also feature this this thing into our shop and from here we have the renewal option so each renewal lasts for four months until this thing sells out now in this case let's go ahead and click on automatic and from here click on publish at the bottom right now from here, you are about to publish a new listing. So there's a non-refundable fee of $0.2 USD for each listing. By publishing, you're going to pay this fee. Go ahead and click on publish at the bottom right. And as you can see, we just reloaded our listing page here and we are directed into the listing itself. As you can see, we now have our digital planner here. And from here, if you want to make changes, click on your listing here, for example, digital planner, and you'll be able to see the details. So currently, this is active and a lot more. So if you want to view this on Etsy itself, click on view on X Etsy. And from here, you'll be able to see it, as you can see right now. Now, from here, you should be good. 
yeah, so that's how you upload digital products on Etsy. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where did we actually upload this file, well, since we actually set this to made to order, meaning that whenever someone actually buys this product, we'll have to manually send or upload the file itself. But if you don't want that, you need to change a few things in here. So in this case, we need to change the made to order option here. So let's go ahead and look for it. Now here, click on the change for core details. And from here, instead of made to order, we want to say we made it around 2023 and click on apply. Now from here, when we go ahead and go to the upper section here, you should see an option for you to digitally upload files here. So in this example, let's go ahead and click on add file. And from here in the downloads, choose your PDF file and click on open. It's going to upload itself. Now from here, if you want to publish your changes, click on publish changes at the bottom right. And from here, your changes should now be applied. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.